Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I have been sharing my journey to conceive here on YouTube for a few years now. I have shared stories through um, infertility and medica medicated cycles and also uh, pregnancy loss. And today you guys is a partnership with Mira. I am going to be giving you guys a how to use Mira. So if you guys decide you want to use Mira and you want to know how to, that's what today's video is all about. And then I am going to be reviewing this product for you guys so you can see if it is something you're interested in, if it will help you conceive like I'm hoping it will do for me, or if you're just trying to get more familiar with your hormones because I understand the struggle of wanting to know where you are in your cycle, what is going on with your cycle, and just not getting that information unless you go to a fertility doctor. And it's so nice to be able to have a device like this at home that you can use to get information on your own and bring it to a fertility doctor if that's something that you're planning on doing. I will also be having a discount code. So if you want to purchase Mira for yourself to try it, you guys can all get $40 off your Mira kit here. My code is Nicole40 and I will have it here on the screen and I will also put it in the description box. So if at the end of this video, you guys decide you are interested in trying Mira, then you guys can use that code if you want. So let's unbox our Mira and let's see what it looks like. So when you first open your Mira box, you're going to have your quick manual guide. And then you will have your Mira device in a side, a little case. That is very nice that it comes in a little case, so it's nice and secure. When you get your device, the battery will not be fully charged. So just make sure that as soon as you get your device, you plug your mirror device in so it can start to charge since it comes with a charger and also download the mirror app right away so that whenever you're ready to start testing at home, you already have the app downloaded and the device nice and charged. So I am going to plug in my Mira so it can start charging and I can start using it so I can give you guys a review. So as you guys know, I have been taking a lot of LH test strips to try to figure out what is going on right now because I wanna get pregnant and I don't wanna to have to go back on medicated cycles. And as I've been taking those strips, they have been super all over the place and I have no idea what's going on. So I have the Mira Max Wands. So let's talk about what the wands can test for and why they are testing for it. So first, let's start with LH. You can get wands that just test for LH. LH, predict your ovulation day. LH usually spikes 24 to 36 hours before ovulation and reaches its peak 10 to 12 hours before ovulation. E3G predicts your full six day fertility window. E3G peaks one to three days before your LH peaks. Its rise indicates the start of your fertility window. PDG Confirm you ovulated during a specific cycle. PDG starts to rise one to two days after your LH peak and indicates that ovulation has occurred. You can also test for FSH. Takes part in triggering ovulation and helps you know if you're approaching menopause. High baseline levels of FSH on the third day of your menstrual cycle may suggest premenopausal especially if you're over 40 years old. So they have different wands that test for different things and some tests for multiple things together, like the Mirror Max wands that I have right here. And then you also can do the FSH, FSH. Why is it so hard for me to say? You can also do the FSH ones and that can help you learn if you are becoming premenopausal. So maybe you're using this as a step between 
wanting to conceive at home or maybe transitioning into going to see a doctor, that can give you a lot of good information for you to bring to your fertility doctor. Let me open the plus wands right here for you guys so I can show you what they look like. The wands, it will come with a little cup. To collect your sample in, this thing is a little green cup. That's so cute, yes. <laughs> And then it has instruction manuals for whatever wands you are purchasing and how to set up the app. And here are the wands. So now that we have looked at the mirror analyzer and I have shown you what the mirror wands look like, let me walk you through step by step how to use the mirror wands with the analyzer. Collect your urine sample using the reusable silicone cup. Unwrap your test wand and dip it in the collected urine for 10 to 20 seconds. Dip the sampling end into the urine. Immerse the one up to the max line. Mira recommends you use your first morning urine. Remember to clean and dry your urine cup before each test. Do not shake the wand at any point. Do not dip the device reading window into the urine. After dipping your test one, you will switch the sanitation cap over to the sampling end. Remember to keep the sampling end facing downward. Always keep the triangle on the one pointing up. Do not hold the sampling end of the wand upside down. Next, insert the wand into the mirror analyzer. Keep the analyzer on a flat surface Insert the test wand into the analyzer toward the triangle. Do not insert the sampling end into the analyzer. Do not move or shake the analyzer while the test is in progress. Depending on which wands you use, the analyzer will process your test for 16 to 21 minutes. Once your results are ready, they will be synced and saved to your mirror app. You don't need to keep your phone close to the analyzer during this countdown. Now that I've walked you through step-by-step step how to use the Mira and the wands, let's check out the app and see what my results look like. So when you download your Mira app, it will connect using Bluetooth to your Mira analyzer and that is how it shares the information from the mirror analyzer device to your phone and the app is free for android and iphone you just have to search for it in your app store i'm very excited to try out this device you guys it is the first time that i'd be able to actually confirm that i ovulated at home without having to go see a medical provider or have my blood drawn. And that is just a kind of comfort that only somebody who is trying to conceive at home can understand. If you're here for how to guide on how to set up and use your Mira, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if you're trying to decide if you should purchase the Mira, then I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for my full review that should be coming very soon. I hope that this is a device that helps me get pregnant at home all by myself without any type of fertility medications. And I hope that if you're trying to conceive that maybe this device or my channel will help you do that too. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.